this tunnel. Look, through this air shaft, quickly. It'll lead us outside. Now you admit helping Millard create the illusion that he was killed by the explosion in his laboratory several months ago. Yes. Millard knew it was Vulcan who tried to kill him, so he decided to finish his greatest experiment underground, free from Vulcan's interference. And he did perfect the most devastating weapon known to man. But what good will that do man? The decimator was destroyed. That's true. But I worked with Millard on the decimator, and I may be able to reconstruct it with the help of our research notes. Well, if I can be of any help, it would be an honor to help you. Splendid. Thank you, gentlemen. But for the moment, I'd rather work alone. If any help is needed, I'll call on you. You're not going to leave these things in here overnight, are you? They'll be as safe here as any other place, Bert. This is one of the most heavily guarded buildings in the entire Southwest. Left 38, twice right 13. Right 31, twice left 19. Left 38, twice right 19. Left 38. Dr. Volker. RFD 48 make sure. Cut out the double talk. Why have you been murdering our best scientists and stealing their secrets to sell to foreigners? RFD 48 make sure. Quit stalling, Von Strom. Wait a minute, Bert. I believe this man's under the influence of an hypnotic sedative. Then maybe he isn't, Dr. Volker. I don't think so. But let's hope he knows who Vulcan is. I'll mix an antidote. We'll find out how much he remembers. You better stand by. Right.
Here, Von Strum. No. No, Vulcan! Who is Vulcan? Quickly, Von Strum. Who is Dr. Vulcan? Vulcan. He's... How did I get back here? Back from where? I don't know. I can't remember. We went to Gramercy's for lunch, all of us, after the meeting. And I don't understand. I was sitting there with a cup of tea and... But that was hours ago. Can't you recall anything since? Hours ago? When you came in here, you were repeating the combination to the safe. But as you were leaving, you kept saying RFD-48. What does that mean? Meaning, what does it mean? I don't know. I think I do. Vulcan induced von Strum's hypnosis, gave him orders to steal Professor Millard's papers and deliver them to the address on Mink Shoals. Do you know where that is? Yes, a few miles south of here. And I'll find out exactly where RFD-48 is in the morning when the post office opens. I'm going to deliver these papers to Vulcan. Well, what about von Strum? I think Glenda will let us hide him in her apartment, where he'll be safe from Vulcan, and where you can keep trying to revive his memory. Oh, good idea. Come on, Professor. Walk up to the highway and look out for Von Strum. I'll be inside. Professor Von Strom? You ain't the professor. Sign of the professor? Yes. Von Strom's under guard. I thought your boss himself would show up at that safe. What are you talking about, King? Dr. Vulcan. I want him. Look around. There's no Dr. Vulcan here. You know where he is. And you're going to take me to him. Stand up. Take you to Vulcan. All right. Outside. And take it easy. Hey, Turk, keep him pinned down here.
Durkin calling Dr. Vulcan. Durkin calling Dr. Vulcan. This is Dr. Vulcan. Come in, Durkin. Your plane backfired. Jeff King showed up instead of Von Strum. He's holding Von Strum someplace. I know. I just traced Von Strum to the apartment of Glenda Thomas. We must get rid of him before he recalls what happened to him while he was with us. Two of my men are on their way now to prevent that. Do you know where Glenda Thomas lives? Yes. I'll be there in time to take over. Switching off. Stranger leading you into the shack. Who was waiting inside? I couldn't see. I remember there were voices, but I. It's no use, Winslow. I... I'm tired. I just can't remember. Durkin, the stranger's name? Dirk. Yes, I... I believe that was his name. Don't move! Prolong the agony, sister. <laughs> 